Hi, I'm Tavi Gutierrez and this is your three-day wellness tarot reading. So please remember that this is a general reading. It's for everybody, all of my fans, subscribers, followers, and members of my site. Um, so if something doesn't resonate with you and you go, I have no idea what you're talking about, that's okay. Pass it on, go to the next thing. Um, what you wanna be listening for are the signs, symbols, and omens that speak to you and your journey and your path and what you're asking about and what you're wanting to explore and what you're wanting to make better in your life, okay? So this reading is for January 8th, 9th, and 10th of 2017. I always um, have a meditation and say a little prayer and ask that my guides and guardian angels and that my intuition brings through messages that help you all in your path and into your best life, okay? I pull three cards, one for your body, one for your mind and one for your spirit and then I'll show them to you as you go I take that information and directly use it and to craft workouts for you on my site if you're interested in working out with me because the goal is to really take care of your best body and your best life through the three points of the triangle body mind and spirit okay so energetically physically functionally right and mentally because the more you take care of yourself you know, the more calm and more patient and more open and more cognitive, more capable you are of thinking and solving and doing and being present in the world. Okay, so here we go. One for your body, one for your mind, and one for your spirit. The beginning of the new year, I feel like I need to say it, is always fresh starts and new beginnings, right? It's a brand new year. And also a time of reflection. So sometimes you will do your reflection at the end of De December, and sometimes it kind of goes, oh wait, we just had New Year's, what happened last year? Um, lots of changes, <laughs> right? All over the world this year. Um, and hopefully internally in you. And the goal of changes is to learn your lessons, right? Is to go, how, what can I learn from this? How can I progress? How can I help? How can I evolve? And how can I be useful in the situation? Um, so, beginning of the new year is always this like thought process of who do I want to be now? And we can call them resolutions, you can call them whatever you want. It's a process you really should do, you know, all the time or a couple times a year. It tends to be around New Year's and around your birthday that it happens, <laughs> right? So, your body right now, Mother of Pentacles. I love this card because it's so sweet um, and very straightforward. Mother of Pentacles is somebody who's really calm, very knowledgeable. They're a teacher um, and they're calm in their knowledge of things and protecting and teaching others, right? It's a card that I, it's Mother of Pentacles. It's very motherly. It's nurturing. But again, that doesn't have to be a mother. It doesn't have to speak to you as a parent or as a um, you know about your parents it's in the world you know in your physical body right now that it's calm it's feeling ownership of what it does know about itself because your body has a cellular memory right and you know your body best and having that relationship and dialogue is what I teach and what I help cultivate in people but your body right now is is calm and, and caring and understanding of itself. And then because it's understanding of itself, it's capable of teaching and protecting somebody else. So she's got a little with her, right? And pentacles is, is an earth symbol. It's your giving, it's your benevolence, it's charity. It's also what you teach in the world or, you know, it's your, simple, your gifts. Not everybody's a teacher, not everybody Giving sometimes gets misconstrued as like donating money or giving things, you know, your time and your presence, your energy is a gift. So what are you giving to people right now in your physical body? Is it tired and like needing some uplifting and everybody's around you kind of gets dragged down by the blanket? Or what the card is saying is that there's an ownership and a calmness about it so that you're capable of helping other people, maybe leading them into some good physical things, um, things that work for you that you're sharing with them, or you know, just really having a bit of ownership and what a lovely place to be in the new year when most people are like, ah, I don't know anything about my body and I totally ignored it last year and now I'm trying to change it. These cards for you all are showing that there's a give. You have to give to yourself, especially your physical body in order to get. So that earth sign and that abundance and that charity is cyclical, right? What you give out, you get back. And so that's energy, that's attention, that's patience, that's time. Um, and that's doing. So if you give yourself that calm time on the mat, that comes back to you energetically somehow in your life. That also sets you up to be able to give and to teach others in a calm way. 
So as a mother of two young boys, my teaching is not always calm for them, right? Um, let's be honest, we all snap and hit our limit and we're human. It can be messy. So this is a reminder that you're in a good place, you have an understanding place about it, that you're giving to yourself in these three days, which is wonderful. It makes you capable of giving in the world and giving to others. Awesome. Moving on. Um, so your mind, whoo, the world. You got the whole world in your hands. <laughs> um, but it's in your mind right now. So the mind card is, you know, what you're thinking about, what you're, um, what you're thinking about, where, what's consuming your thoughts, what are you researching, what are you reading, what are you filling up on, what are you listening to, where's your head at, okay? And so this card says you want the whole world. Like you're thinking about the entire world, the planet. There's a lot of that thought right now. There has been for, you know, weeks and months and the years at a time, but I think this idea of the world right now is is really about like it seems to be that you guys are really thinking about the actual physical world like the globe that what is everybody else doing? How does what I do affect everybody else? You know, and environmentally, like where, what is the t turn of events and what is the truth here and what can I do to help? Um, this is very literal today. So the world is like, the world is your oyster, right? The, this card is just a beautiful, um, uh, big card, right? It's major arcana. So it really is the all encompassing, but you've got to start thinking of things bigger than yourselves if you're not already. So there's kind of a little dual thing. I think a lot of you, which is what I'm hearing, are functionally thinking about the world. How do I show up in it? How do I help? Um, what is the state of affairs, like our literal planet? Like what's the clock on it? Can we, you know, assist it? If we don't take care of this earth, we've got no place to live. It's not everybody's path to save it. I will say that like environmental like you can't solve everything you can do small things right um, small things as far as environmentally are always fascinating like a lot of it has to do with our food and the bees and I'm just sharing that because these are functional things that people don't know so much attention is put on the consumption of um, meat and animal proteins and I'm sure I'll get messages about this so I'm just sharing what I know to be true um, and there is a lot to be said for lessening the amounts of meats that you eat but I'm, I'm a carnivore for other reasons um, of balancing the physical body but there are other foods that you know take up a ton of resources like almonds they use the most water resources in our production of things like they're the most wasteful water resource quit eating almonds quit drinking almond milk or quit drinking it so often you know um, I'm sure I'm gonna hear a ton about that but this card says a good substantial portion of you all watching this are really thinking about the planet in an environmental way. Um, you're also thinking about it in a people way. Like, again, how can I help everybody? How can I show up? Like, how can I really assist um, and protect and, and serve? That's what I'm getting. But it's also here too, I'm getting this like, like a three quarter of you are really thinking about how to be productive and useful in, in the world, you know, grand scale. And then there's like a quarter of you all that are like, haven't even thought about that yet and need to take a moment. Um, but also realize that the world is your oyster, okay? It's 21, which is boils down to a three, which is creativity, which essentially means that we all have to get creative with our solutions and our capacity to help and to assist and to show up. And that we have to quit thinking that it's only a donation of time or only a donation of money, that it really is what your gift is to make things better, to feel more loving, to be more open, to be more accepting, really just show up better. That has a huge impact in the world. You change yourself, you change the world. So your thoughts are, are with the world today. Um, nice. Okay. And spirit. Woo. Okay. Five of swords. It always looks like kind of an icky thing. It doesn't have to be icky. Five is change. So there's, there's change coming or it's brewing. And remember, this is just a three day reading. So for these three days, January 8th, 9th, and 10th, there's a shift in your thoughts, but this is an active shift. This is something that you, okay. It's a shift in your thoughts. It's something you've been thinking about as far as the spiritual realm or things that ground you, things that nurture you, things that bolster you, make you feel good, generate goodness in your life. Um, you know, 
this is you changing things, really cutting things off that you've been thinking about for a long time. Maybe that's toxic people, maybe that's a t silly little habit. You know, I'm getting gum chewing, like incessant gum chewing. That's a thing for me. As a trainer, it overworks the jaw muscle, it creates tension in the face and the neck, and it's like a nervous tick thing. For Sometimes for kids that are a little hyperactive, or people that are hyperactive, you can give them a piece of gum and you can noticeably see them like calm down. Um, I don't know why there's gum is coming, so hopefully that means something to somebody out there. But there's a change in your practices, in your habits. So this is a card for spirit, okay? And, and spirit is like that ground into something bigger than yourself. It can look like so many things. It can look like cards. It can look like crystals. It can look like prayer. It can look like going to church. Um, it can be religion. It can be journaling. It's whatever is quiet time for you that feeds your soul for the positive. That's all. So there is a shift in your thoughts that you are cutting things off that are toxic to you in some way. You're finally making the decision to do it. And it's pretty black and white. Like, you know what it is. It's been sitting there for a long time. It's not going to be a struggle to get rid of it. You just decide not to do that anymore whatever that is. <laughs> and when you decide not to do that, which is toxic to you or dark or drags you down, then your spirit lifts and evolves and changes and grows and you feel better and there's more joy and there's more room. So remember, anytime you release anything, you stuff, clothes, you know, foods that don't work for your body anymore. Releasing is not about deprivation and giving something away and you can't have it anymore. Releasing is about making space for something better. You can't buy new clothes if your closet is so jammed that you can't move the, the hangers, right? So this is the same for thought processes and practices and habits. If your life and your days and your practices are filled up with things that are toxic and don't serve you and are dragging you down and draining your energy and, and leaving you joyless, you gotta ditch them at some point. I mean, you have a choice, you don't have to, um, but that just runs your energy down and I can speak from absolute personal experience on that one. So that when you, a little voice, right? That gut feeling where you go, this is just not working anymore. Why am I doing this? You are a cognitive human being who has a choice to decide not to do something at any moment. You have choices, you have free will, right? That's the beauty of free will, you make choices. Um, so when you have awareness is first and you got to know what's going on, you got to be able to listen to it and it takes some time, right? Um, but in these three days, it says that you guys are cutting something off you've been thinking about for a long time. So it's been a long time coming. It's getting cut off. It's pretty black and white. You were done. You were fed up. End of story. Move on. So body, mind, spirit. So we've got a three and a five, which is an eight and a one <laughs> mother of pentacles, a nine for these three days. Nine is the ending of karmic cycles. Um, that is definitely happening in the universe in 2017 and in this time. So these cards are right on track and right on par. So um, if you're interested in seeing how I kind of take this reading and help balance it in your actual physical um, workout practice and space, you can head over to the website and do that with me over there if you're willing, able, and wanting. Um, and you can find that link here. Um, but thank you for joining me for this reading. I love you so very much, and I will see you next time.